so I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I hope everyone knows that our lives are just being played with. We're so caught in the hamster wheel, we can't get out. They've built this system or game. It's it's a game. And there's no way to get out. There's no way to win. You know, you break the rules, they throw you in jail. You stand up, oh, accidental suicide. Everybody who talks about it ends up not talking about it anymore. But you got to understand, look at all these corporations, you know, their, their advertising is brilliant, you know, McDonald's, Nike, any of them, they all, they're, they're all the same, man, they, they make you a part of their company, and you think, you know, well, they're just getting super rich, you know, and then you watch rappers, you know, talk about Xanax, and you think, oh, shit, I, you know, I want to take Xanax, I want to take uh, ecstasy and I want to do this and they're just playing a game with us man I don't I don't know how to explain it any better but I'll tell you who it is it's the government but the government is ran by Big Pharma I'll tell you that right now Big Pharma runs just about everything you don't think this COVID thing is kind of weird? No. Now, um, now they have authority to just go ahead with testing this, test that, test whatever, you know? And I still don't know anybody who knows anybody that has it. I'm sure people are getting sick and dying, but, you know, I've heard stories where doctors are saying, they're lying. You know, they're, everybody who dies, they just say it's COVID. So, it's a, there's just too many too many stories out there, man. You don't know the truth, and I don't think we'll ever know the truth of what's really going on. But the, the government thinks they're helping, giving you your 1200 bucks. 1200 bucks ain't shit. I don't even pay half my rent. But what do you do? Well, you know, you need somebody, somebody with some kind of name to stand up and be like, you know, every time they you vote somebody in, they're all gung-ho, you know, I'm going to change this, I'm going to change that. And there ain't shit for change ever. That should tell you right there. All those politicians bought and sold, man. Once they get up there, they fold, man. I'll tell you what, if I was, if I was, uh, I I wouldn't take that shit. I'd stroll up in a t-shirt and dickies and be like, this is what's up. But, there's just too many cowards and too many sheep, you know? No one wants to stand up and, 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 and say, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. I got some questions about this shit. You know? This shit ain't, this shit ain't normal. You know what I mean? What the hell is going on? You know? And the government, God knows the government, the, sec- the, the secrets the government has, you know? They, they think they're helping by not telling the people, man, but the people are fucking... People are the ones that run this country, man. It's not no fucking government. It's not no uh, rich people. It's just, it's the people in the middle, man. The people in the middle are the ones going to Target and fucking buying sneakers and doing all that shit, keeping the economy going, you know? All that fucking, all they buy is their Armani suits and 
walk around like a bunch of jackasses, you know? I fucking hate politicians, man. You know, politician, it shouldn't be a fucking career. In the back in the day, you had to go do your politician duties. Two years, bam, you're gone. But now we got sons and daughters and sons and sons and sons and everybody's fucking uh, a congressman or a senator. You know? And, man, I'm not trying to blast Trump or Biden, but are you fucking kidding me? Those are the best two candidates in America? That's a fucking joke right there. Trump is a straight loon, man. I mean, he's he's egotistical and he's a good businessman. And it seems like everything he said, he do, he's doing. I don't trust fucking Joe Biden as far as I could throw him, man. That dude just seems slimy. I don't know why. And keep in mind, I ain't no Democrat. I ain't no Republican. Fuck, I don't even vote. I'm just giving my opinion on those two cats. You know? Well, I still think they're in bed with Big Pharma, man. I, 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 they have to be. All the testing, all the pharmacies, all this shit. Man, I guarantee you, I'm out $7,000 because of this bullshit. And guess how much Big Pharma probably pulled in? They probably pulled in $7 billion during this bullshit. Just a bunch of fucking pieces of shit. But that was my rant for the day. I just got to thinking about fucking... Thinking about shit and people... You know, they got the government, or not the government, but the media has people just thinking like, you know, and rappers and all all that stuff. It's like, okay, it's cool to have, you know, it's cool to go get laid. So that's all they think about. You know what I mean? And you're so stuck in your hamster wheel, you know, you're not seeing the world. You're only seeing it through that your perspective, which is, and that's not how it's supposed to be, man. You know, we're all supposed to, oh man, I don't, we're all supposed to be able to chill, hang out. You, you need something. I got something. Okay. We'll get it for you. You know what I mean? No money. Look at the paper money. That paper ain't, ain't worth shit. The, the, the coins ain't even silver no more. That money ain't worth shit. So what do we do? We kill ourselves every day for it. Oh, man. I don't even know if anybody understood that rant, but... There it was. Those vamos. <laughs>